me now the leader of the South African Communist Party, Sully Mapaila. Sully, good evening. I do appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you saw the President's speech. There'll be various things that matter, particularly to the SACP. But first, your general impressions. Well, general impressions, um, maybe from the political side, uh, quite good stuff. Um, but generally, I think uh, we started on a wrong footing, uh, too much late. Uh, and of course the disruption which were unnecessary quite bad for the movement but I think it's a matter that uh, uh, will be a subject of discussion by the conference with regard to uh, the details of what the organizational renewal means uh, what kind of a cadre we need for this moment uh, including how the cadres behave um, if they want to be relevant to society because I think uh, that kind of behavior this way the society from uh, supporting the ANC is not the kind of the ANC that uh, they are used to. They are used to the ANC that is more orderly, more organized, effective, because it's the ANC that is leading our country. And therefore there's too much expectations from uh, society and therefore that part was quite disappointing. But I think uh, the speech saved the economic side um, uh, was quite okay uh, because the economic side reaffirmed the current mode of uh, production, in other words, the current capitalist system, uh, which doesn't bode well for the country. We have experimented with this of, uh, for the past two and a half decades. Results have not been good for the majority of the people. Uh, this huge uh, social eco socio-economic crisis. In other words, uh, the capitalist system has reproduced uh, its ills. Um, poverty, unemployment, all of these things that we are talking about, they are a consequence of a system that is self-serving to the elite and a few in society. But uh, the, the other critical question, the political message, including on the renewal, uh, commitment to fight against uh, corruption, uh, we welcome that uh, that, uh, that, that that was a strong message from the president, um, and I think he couldn't have said it any better. Uh, the issue around the reconfiguration of the alliance. We were happy that he elevated this matter to his uh, political report for conference engagement because it's a thought issue uh, in alliance relations. And I think um, he was able to articulate it proper for the uh, delegates to consider the issues. As you know, we have taken a, a decision from our Congress uh, to pursue uh, different alternatives uh, if, the, if the, the ANC uh, remains committed to this current system that is not working. Yeah, for the people. So, okay, there's lots to get through there, and I'm going to come back to that in a moment because it is important. Um, do you think the person who arrived late took the message about corruption seriously? The disruptor. <laughs> 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 no, let me put it that way because I think um, he knows the protocol, he knows the, the, the systems. Uh, it's always important to be cautious, uh, particularly to a successor. Um, and to show respect, uh, irrespective of uh, differences, because it's, the, it's for the uh, for the organisation, uh, for its image uh, uh, in, in public, and if leaders portray that, uh, they, they deepen the divisions. Um, I do think uh, everyone listened to the message because the president was quite clear about this, and conference will be quite clear ab ab about this question because there's no way to turn back on this matter. We set up a commission uh, that uh, former president uh, Zuma himself uh, had set up, and therefore the consequence of that commission, the judicial commission, which by the way we called for as a communist party, and we're, 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 happy, we're happy that we called for it because we were challenged that bring evidence, and we said to the president then, you are the president, you have uh, the capacity to establish a judicial commission, can question anyone, go and do it, and uh, as you know, uh, then public protector came to similar conclusion, uh, a long process. This could have long been done, and it damaged the image of the ANC. But I think the message is clear, whether conference likes it or not, the state now is beginning to implement the outcomes of that commission. So it's an issue that we must deal with and respond to that. And I think the president put it very clear that uh, part of the renewal process uh, also uh, relates to dealing with corruption, to dealing with the behavior of cadres. Uh, who receive uh, 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 backhand uh, uh, staff from uh, corporates and others who are involved in this because, by the way, uh, corruption uh, of uh, state institutions was interrelated with uh, the role of uh, the corporations. That's why the Communist Party uh, called this, when we con conceptualized the idea of the state capture here, we called it corporate capture of the state. So we uh, denoted that class content, that class dimension of the capture of the state. And um, the reconfiguration of the alliance, or to put it in sort of easier words, but maybe better English, 
Will the SACP go on its own? Okay, and I mean, the President spoke about that. You've referred to it briefly as well. One of the things that we're seeing is because of our system of proportional representation, because the ANC is now in danger of falling below 50% at the national level, suddenly the idea of becoming a party that has 10% gives you a lot of power. A lot more power than it would have five years ago, ten years ago. So never mind all the internal politics between the alliance, which has been difficult for a long time. That simple fact surely is going to say to your members, it's what, 120,000 I think it is? No, 340,000. 340, is going to say, we actually now should go it alone. If you've got 340,000 members and could have a huge influence on government policy with 10% of the vote, it's obvious, right? Well, well why isn't it? <laughs> we're, we're looking at, uh, at, the, at, the, at the multiple dimensions. Of course, that's very important uh, if you get that number in, in the context of uh, emerging coalition systems. Uh, in our country, and I, I mean, uh, in some some of these coalitions have also uh, undermined democracy in the manner that uh, we've seen them being formed, where majority parties, for instance, um, are beggars uh, when they are supposed to be setting up coalition. But of course, maybe that's that's the reason for coalitions. In Europe, they are done differently. In other parts of the world, they are done differently. We may we may not necessarily follow that path because it's done by Europe. Look, um, we have already developed a discussion document inside the Communist Party responding to this and we're looking at multiple issues um, the issue of whether we stand uh, on our own independently on the ballot as the SACP whether we stand with other organizations uh, as a front of uh, broad left forces uh, that are pursuing a particular strategic objective or whether we stand uh, within the framework of existing alliance uh, albeit in the, under a reconfiguration process that's why this conference has to take that matter seriously because our conference then said uh, we will proceed to prepare modalities and active participation in the elections with or without the reconfiguration of the alliance so in other words uh, and it also in the resolution table some few issues for instance the renewal policy of the nc how the nc takes uh, this question of renewal properly for instance we cannot be uh, we cannot align ourselves with the behavior that we see at the beginning of conference for instance uh, we cannot reconfigure with that so it's a different renewal it's a different nc that we want to 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 align with so we're, we're, we're yearning for our ANC that we entered into an, an, an alliance with, the ANC that was selflessly serving the, the people of this country at the front line of uh, making front line sacrifices in the battle against the apartheid for national liberation of our country. So we are looking at a different ANC, ANC that is committed to the renewal project, understanding that it's not an overnight thing, but at least if the leadership uh, core is committed to that and they can demonstrate ability and show a sense of commitment will work with them in that regard. But we are discussing all different modalities uh, in that respect.